Hello, won't you come along and join us for our June club cruise to Catalina? Dolphins alongside on our way to the island is always a welcome sight. We're in the shipping lane now and trying to figure out the shipping container conga. You can see there's two container ships pretty close together and getting a little closer to us, so we took a bearing to make sure we're going to avoid them. There it is. Looks like he's coming right at us. How's it look, Larry? It's better than 290. From what, what did it start at? Uh, it started about 270. Don't cast so it gained 20 degrees. <laughs> and AIS says we're going to pass a mile in front of them, and that's what it kind of looks like. Meanwhile, Kestrel skipper Anton is happy to harness enough wind to sail a few hours. Won't be long now. There's Ted Robbins, who crewed for Anton. Two Harbors Mooring Field is in sight, and it's almost time to call the Harbor Master. There's Chase White, skippering Osprey, with Claude Rosignol sharing helm duties. All five Fairwind boats are safely moored, and happily, Tardis and Osprey are right next to each other. Sandpiper and Calypso were neighbors too, with Kestrel just a stone's throw away. Our neighbor on the other side caught this halibut right off the bow of the boat. Saturday was packed with optional activities that people could join or chill. Cheryl Kelly, sandpiper skipper, led an early morning hike along the Cat Harbor Ridge Route. Cat Harbor is a tranquil sight early in the morning. Anton's father-in-law enjoyed seeing the backside of the island. There's Emma <laughs> and Eric Anderson and Larry and Stephen Mandel are putting the wheel back on after our party last night, our appetizer party. More Fairwinders are now on their way to Tardis for a short ride over to Emerald Bay. Now we're on mooring balls at Emerald Bay, a premier snorkeling spot, not to be missed. And it's so refreshing. Where are we? Emerald Bay. We just had some nice, very nice snorkeling going on. Some doctors go, some people went to Indigenous Rock. Lots of gill. Indigenous Rock way over there, or Indian Rock. There's where the reef is from Indian Rock over to these rocks. Everyone who wanted to got a chance to try out Chase's sailing kayak. It was a lot of fun. Cheryl Kelly and Stephen Allen is pretty strong. Huh? Returning to two harbors from Emerald Bay. Don't you think these are kind of like the, the uh... Chase is manning his craft for the trip back. A white light is required at night. And dinghies need a minimum of 10 feet of tie-up line. This is the first time I've seen this at Two Harbors. Here's another first. Time for a buffalo milk.
What do you think of the electric motor? It's very different. It's cool. You get a lot of feedback. It's peppy on this little dinghy. We're heading back home, saying goodbye to the west side of Two Harbors. Please keep, uh, anybody see any traffic? Yeah, we're keeping an eye out. Lila's on the bow. Oh, cool. So, just keeping an eye out. Here's the signal. The ferry between Avalon and Two Harbors takes 40 minutes. And it's entering Two Harbors. Camp, campground in the background there. We're at Blue Cavern Point, and Leela and Olivia a free hour tour. are paddling towards the entrance of a cave that goes back 50 yards. And there they are. Oh, they would go nuts, yeah.